Dear Ukrainian friends, we do not have enough words to praise your courage and determination to defend your freedom. Your resistance is a wake-up call to all Democrats around the world. Without the will to fight, democracy will perish. To your aggressor, I say, your lives for justifying war cannot and will not remain unchallenged. This is why we must and we will provide safe haven without any discrimination to all those who are fleeing the war to seek refuge on our territory. This is why we must and we will mobilize all political, economic and financial means at our disposal to exert maximal pressure on Putin's Russia in order to make him stop his aggression. And let me be clear to the people of Russia, we have no quarrel with you. You too have the right to live in dignity and many of you are standing up daily to defend it at great personal risk. We know that resuming the diplomatic dialogue with your country is the only path to a sustainable peace on our continent. But this can only happen if the aggression stops. But Ukrainians, all they want is to live a free life in a free country. This is not much to ask, but this is a lot to defend. And this is why it is our European moral imperative to help, to help them defend their own choice, to help them save their children, their families, their loved ones, the loved ones who take arms and walk to battles, help them to return. And yes, this is why we have no other options than to put a clear alternative in front of President Putin. Either you stop this war now or you will have to bear the consequences that will be devastating. We did not ask for this confrontation. You did. Only renewables and energy efficiency can give us the strategic autonomy we seek. It is not just for the climate that we must accelerate the energy transition. It is for our security and for the resilience of our economies. The colleagues, never before has the European Union been challenged in such a direct and brutal way. I have no doubt that we collectively and only collectively have the strength the resources, the determination, and above all, the wisdom to meet this challenge together, together with Ukraine, because we belong together. So long live Ukraine, long live Europe, Slava Ukraini.